Hola guys, John here con mi baby Nayarit. Dice hola baby. She's packing her uh, little lunch bag. Show your lunch bag. Uh, uh. She's a weed criminal. Eres una criminal. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you this video. I wanted to do this where Andrew Tate says there is no luck and uh, how to be a top G. So I'm gonna play it for you guys. The steps to becoming a top G are absolutely not self-accountability. Everything that happens in your life, whether good or bad, is completely your fault, which is why you must be analyzing the chessboard. The fact that his woman left him and he doesn't truly completely understand why and has not put a plan in place to make sure it is not repeated is why he will never be a top G. The other guy who complained earlier that a woman left him purely because the guy is older, again, is cope and fallacy. To be a top G, you must analyze yourself, look in the mirror, and understand that everything good that happens to you in your life is your fault. Everything bad that happens to you in your life is your fault. There's no such thing as luck. It doesn't matter if you get hit by a car while you're walking down the street. It's still your fault to a degree. You could have been paying more attention, been more perspicacious, did a ninja move like I would have done. I keep back, flip, and jumped out of the car. You are always accountable for everything. That is the key to being a top G. All right, so now you guys, now that you guys uh, heard the entire video, we're gonna run through it again, and we'll pause it at certain points, and I'll make certain points um, for being accountable for your life. There's a lot of guys out there that make excuses, so I'm gonna break it down and uh, go over some of those. All right. The steps to becoming a top G are absolutely not self-accountability. Everything that happens in your life, whether good or bad, is completely your fault, which is why you must be analyzing the chessboard. So what he said there, everything good and bad in your life is directly your fault. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. It's like chess. If you don't really play chess, if you know how to play poker, it's the same thing where you got to think moves ahead. If, if this outcome, if I do this, this outcome can occur. If I do this, this outcome can occur. Then you take it one step further. And if that outcome occurs, they can do this. The opponent can do this or they can react this way or this way or this way. And so you gotta keep branching out, like from it starts off from down here and then it shoots out going wider as you analyze more situations because there's more things that are happening. And so you gotta analyze, like he's gonna talk about it right here about the guy's girl leaving. The fact that his woman left him and he doesn't truly completely understand why and has not put a plan in place to make sure it's not repeated is why he will never be a top G. So uh, like with the, this guy Aiden, his girl left him and he was making excuses saying it was mutual and it's not mutual. The girl's banging some other dude who is more of a Chad or a Tyrone that this guy Aiden isn't doing because if you, I don't know if you watched the other video before this of where he tried to do 30 push-ups and couldn't even do 30 push-ups. You know, what girl is gonna be impressed by that? None. So that's why he doesn't understand that and he doesn't, he's making excuses. And then I'm gonna play this part right here and then about the other guy right here. The other guy who complained earlier that a woman left him purely because the guy's older, again, is cope and fallacy. So like that, the other guy who he was complaining on this live stream was saying that the, the girl left him because he's older and she wanted a younger guy. He's just making excuses and justifying it instead of figuring out why she really left. Like maybe he's out of shape. Maybe he doesn't uh, take care of himself no more. Maybe he's not as like fun or outgoing or energetic as he used to be when she fell in love with him. Maybe he's not a Chad anymore how he used to be when she first got attracted to him. He became more of a simp and more uh, of like a doormat for the girl instead of maintaining his frame and then girls lose respect and lose attraction for that. And so guys will just justify it. And another example of that is like guys that message me because I keep bringing it up that you guys gotta be fit and not be overweight and uh, like the girls not wanting to be with fat dudes, it's true. And like some guy wrote me, he's like, man, why are you always talking shit on the fat dudes? You know, and he, he gave me all these excuses as to why he tried everything and why he couldn't lose weight. And I'm like, dude, you spent the entire fucking time messaging me, telling me about why you can't. And not one of those things he messaged me was how can he or what he's thinking to do on working it. And that's the same as these guys that aren't analyzing why they're there. You know, you have to analyze it like chess or poker where you're thinking multiple moves ahead as to why, uh, I, the sun. 
Yeah, ah, mejor. All right, we'll give you a little bit more beach view back there. Because the sun's already burning her back. I had to close it behind my back already. So, like, oh shit, she just got a new tattoo right here and I keep touching it and it hurts. But, um, it's no different than the guy like that who's making excuses instead of telling me solutions. He, t he spent the entire time telling me why he can't lose weight instead of fucking telling me what he's trying to do. And he's not telling me why he is overweight in the first place. He's not admitting to himself why he got overweight in the first place. It's because you have bad eating habits and you have bad uh, exercise habits. You're eating shit. You're not working out. You're not sleeping. You're th That all adds up. You're probably drinking beer too at the same time or alcohol, which adds just straight to your gut. And if you're eating animal products, any animal products you eat, the fat from the animal product goes straight to your gut. It adds to your fat. That's why I wanted to show that. <coughs> Analyze. First, self-realization is the first step. The first thing to realize is why that happened in the first place. Why are you fat in the first place? Why did your girl leave you in the first place? Why are you poor in the first place? And once you realize that, like you're like, fuck, I'm in a fucked up situation. Then you uh, think about why, how, how did that happen? How did all over the, the past fucking year, two years, five years that it took you to get fat, to get broke or to like lose your girl. Think about all the things that happen. Don't blame the other people. Like he said, you got to take accountability. It's, it's your fault. 100% of everything is your fault. You did something wrong as to why things turned out the way it did. And once you realize and pinpoint what happened that you did wrong, then you can prevent it from happening again. Just like let's say in poker, where I made the wrong move with a certain hand, and let's say I have pocket aces, and I slow play it instead of raising and being aggressive, and I let people in that shouldn't have been in the pot, and then they get lucky and hit some miracle card with like a, a nasty card, like a seven deuce, they hit a seven and a deuce, or a seven, seven deuce on the flop, then I'm dead, because I chose to do make that decision. But if I go back, instead of blaming the other person that he doesn't know how to play, I will blame myself because I didn't play it right. I would think back, what did, what mistake did I make to uh, cause that to happen? It's because I didn't do, I didn't raise it. And I didn't think ahead by slow playing that I let the people in. Oh, I didn't let, I, I didn't bet enough. So I let everybody in cheap. And then they got me after because I let them in. They hit, they got lucky and hit the cards that uh, can destroy me. And it's all my fault. I can't get mad at the other person. You know, I have to get mad at myself. It's accountability. And that's just an example of, for those of you that know how to play poker, that you'll understand what I'm talking about. And so you got to analyze life, your life, just like that. Just like that poker hand, you have to analyze that your life as to why that happened. Why did you lose? Why are you fucked up? Why are you depressed? Why are you fat? Why is your girl leaving? Why are no girls wanting to hang out with you? And why? Because a lot of you won't look in the mirror and see why. Maybe you can't. Maybe you need someone to tell you. But a lot of people ain't going to be honest and tell you. You know? So, I even uh, had a bunch of guys send me after the dating chart one. Where do you stand on the dating chart? I'm still going through. I got a lot of requests of people say, Hey, man, can you break me down? What's wrong with me? Or like, I ask these girls out. I'll get, I'll get their... Okay, I'll get their Instagram or I'll get their number, but they never go and hang out with me. You know, it's because they're only doing that to be polite because they can't say no, but they don't have any intention of hanging out with you because you ain't their type or you're overweight or whatever it is that they don't like. But you think that just because you like them that they got to like you back and that they got to entertain you. But that's not the case. And these guys aren't analyzing why and they can't see it. So they ask me. And so I got to break it down for them. <laughs> she got too stoned. She had to lay down. <sighs> but yeah, so you got to analyze everything and it's self. You got to be accountable for everything in your life. And I think I've gotten the point across as to, you know, self-realization. And then once you realize, then analyze, then you can plan your strategy for moves ahead as to how you're going to achieve your goal and to not let it happen again. That's the most important thing because if you keep doing what what caused you to get fat or what caused you to get broke or what caused the girl to leave you, then you're just going to keep getting the same results no matter if you change the girl, if you change play another game or if you uh, try another diet or whatever or try another business. You're not going to realize because you haven't analyzed and uh, seen the reason why that happened in the first place so that you can prevent it from happening in whatever end of war 
or whatever other thing you decide to do to try and lose weight or whatever business you try to do to make money or the next girlfriend that you're not gonna like lose her for the same reason that you lost her the, the first one. All right, let's finish this. To be a top G, you must analyze yourself, look in the mirror and understand that everything good that happens to you in your life is your fault. Everything bad that happens to you in your life is your fault. There's no such thing as luck. It doesn't matter if you get hit by a car while you're walking down the street, it's still your fault to a degree. You could have been paying more attention, been more perspicacious, did a ninja move like I would have done. I keto back, flipped and jumped over the car. You are always accountable for everything. That is the key to being a top G. So guys, even he said like even a car accident or getting hit by a car is still your fault to a degree. Like you could have done things, you could have paid more attention like he said, or you could have just stayed home and not gone out. You know, like those are the things that <clears throat> you gotta look at. And so the main point is to be accountable and to have self-realization so you can fix the problems that got you to there. Because if you don't fix the problems that got you there, it doesn't matter what you try. If you don't realize what you're doing wrong, if you're gonna keep doing the same wrong thing, you're gonna keep getting the same wrong outcomes. You know, sit and take a look. And if you need someone to take a look, then hit me up. I'll try and help you. You know, if you don't real, if you don't, if you can't see it yourself and you tried to break it down for yourself, you know, but don't get mad if I don't answer because I got a lot of messages and I'm still trying to get back to the people that do that. And I got a lot of shit that I got to answer still too. Plus working on all that shit, plus entertaining these girls, plus having my girl over, plus taking her out, you know, all that shit. And doing stuff for my business on top of that. Baby, dice gra adios, vamos. No, ven aquí, dice. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was it for that video. Uh, write in the comments about like things that maybe you've just realized recently that you were doing to cause your life to end up like shit or to be fucked up. So that way, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, ahorita. Um, that way you can prevent it from happening again in the future. So, and it, it, even the thing like I, I said before is like, if you if you are getting girls to go out with you, if you don't have girls get going, wanting to get out with you, go out with you, ask yourself why. And if girls are wanting to go out with you, ask yourself why. What are you doing right? So you can do more of the right thing and less of the wrong thing. So, all right, guys. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Pura vida. Bye. All right, guys. So I'm putting together these groups, the my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's going to be two levels to it. You're going to have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year at least and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience, and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they wanna live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they wanna start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new. And then the Jedi Masters, what we're gonna do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my video, my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my, me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together. Cause I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally because there's no one else you can take. Can't tell your friends, can't tell your family. And there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I want to bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of want to live this lifestyle as well. So if you're interested in joining the Jedi Master Inner Circle, still putting together all the fine details, but I'll put you guys on a wait list. Send me an email and let me know which Jedi Master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you want to be in. There's going to be either the young Jedi or the Jedi Masters. And the Jedi Masters is going to be 
500 for you guys to join. That's the, the screening process. And then we got the Young Jedi's for 50 bucks. That way it's affordable. And the 500 is to screen out. Obviously, if you're doing well, 500 isn't much. And then it keeps out the people that aren't serious. It's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real. And of course, there's gonna be moderation and there's gonna be like con content moderation where I moderate who gets in and interview the people that wanna come in to make sure they're real. And that way, everyone that's in the group is actually there because they want to be and that they share this similar outlook on life and want to live this type of life and level up even more make more connections make more friends kind of like me and tim the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh that i hang out with it'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together so if you're interested, send me an email and then put wait list you want to be on. And then as soon as I'm ready, I'll notify all you guys that it's ready. And then we'll put you guys in maybe a Telegram or a Discord. Or I'm still trying to figure out the logistics. But once it's ready, then you guys will be invited once you pay the entrance fee. And then we'll get you in. All right, guys. That's it. Adios. Pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Well, like guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If you're headed down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of stuff. You know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees. You don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money. You could be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank, a thousand, two thousand to the bank every month you take it and go on a vacation look at the ocean how beautiful it is down here and the weather is perfect it's so early in the morning i'm already sweating it's tropical and like people are swimming down there if you could see and I, the only thing i wish that was down here is the that there was more waves but like i said if you own a business uh you don't have to pay for the fees you can use it for vacation take your family out reinvest in your business or whatever it is you want to do on with it it's just it's way better than wasting it paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return so that's it uh send me an email or write in the comments i'll be glad to help you out all right that's it for now talk to you guys later adios